My pilot hasn't done that bad. We got a 31.6% hitting accuracy. It's almost 1 in 3. And secondary hit is 1 in 3. 49 kills with 10 assists. Got a lot of uh, PVFs, of course. And we also have some SFs, and even an SSG. Super, super good. <laughs> That's what that means, right? Let's get... Let's continue. What you got for me? Hook me up, man. Training! Welcome to Advanced Training. Woo! As you know, research has been completed on the new shielding technology. Shields are being added to all fighters and bombers. In this training mission, you will be instructed on the use of your shield system. Awesome. In addition to the new shield technology, the new interceptor aspect-seeking missiles are now available. They are more powerful than the MX-50s, but require a lock before they may be fired. You will learn how to properly use the interceptor in this mission. And I'll also relearn how to fly my damn ship. The shield is an important addition to your ship, and the interceptors are a formidable addition to your arsenal. You must learn how to use them well. Damn. So much of a burden. Well, let's come in. Hi, guy. Alright. First, we'll cover use of the aspect-seeking interceptor missiles. Note that you are fully equipped with interceptors. So I am. I noted it. Unlike heat-seeking missiles, such as the MX-50, you must acquire a lock on your target in order for an aspect-seeker to home. Alright. I can maybe do that. Ah, who am I kidding? I got no chance. Go on. However, the Aspect Seeker is well worth this effort, as its homing ability is much stronger. Neat. You can also tell from the HUD that we are shielded. Once fired, the Aspect Seeker will track its target anywhere in space. Once the Heat Seeker loses track of its target, it is not likely to reacquire lock. But it is possible, according to our trainer. And I'm not talking about... Oh. That was going to be a terrible attempt at a joke. I should stop trying too hard to be funny. Crater 1 is now entering. Let's see how you do with those interceptors. Alright. I'm locked. You want me to shoot now? I'm gonna wait for directions. Notice the red indicator moving toward your target. That's the aspect diamond. Once it is moved onto your target, you'll see the lock indicator. This indicates your interceptors are locked and ready to fire. Indeed. So damaged. It's the GTFR. Get the fuck. Right? <laughs> the R is tinier. Well, I did target it. Can we target it again? Now fire one interceptor at the freighter. Whoosh. Note how fast the interceptor moves. They also deliver quite a payload. Did 3% damage to the freighter. A round of interceptors can be fired every three seconds. Fire another round and note the countdown timer in your weapons gauge. Yeah? What do you know? It is right there. Good. Note that the interceptor is nearly useless if fired before lock has been attained. This is a crucial difference between the interceptor and the MX-50. Damn. I know air conditioner. I thought I told you to stay off for this session. Now target the weapon subsystem on the freighter. I can do that. Good. Now wait until you have attained lock on the weapon subsystem. Alright. Done and done. Well done. Note your interceptors will be effective in destroying subsystems on large targets. Fantastic. Want me to shoot it? I guess they do. Now unload your interceptors until you've destroyed Freighter 1. I think I can unload. Yeah. Fuck your weapons. Let's hit sensors. So you can't see me. Da, 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 da. Can't really hit the engine. Now let's not allow you to talk about it. No talking. Then... Just shoot the damn thing. Fuck the subsystems. Excellent job. Now it's time to destroy some moving targets. Shit. I didn't come prepared for that. In order to gain aspect lock on a moving target, 
You must keep the target's lockbox in a fixed location inside your HUD reticle. Insert lockbox joke here. You folks, uh, well, some of you probably know what I'm talking about. For the rest of you, well. I will now call in fighter drones. will be fine. When the first drone enters, target it and acquire lock. Try to keep the target indicator in the center of your HUD reticle. Okay. I'll think about it. But I make no guarantees. Just call them in. Once you have acquired lock, fire an interceptor to destroy the drone. Note, these drones will not be using countermeasures. That's good. Get right, kid. Grimmoth wins. I am the best. I'm not even moving. Well done. Yeah. Now let's try something a little more difficult. Wings of two drones will appear at once. Destroy them all. Shit. Where is it? There. Note that you'll need to be in range of these drones before you can gain aspect lock. Fly toward them. I'll just be lazy and use my afterburner towards them. Lazy Grimmoth! Lazy Grimmoth. Lazy Grimmoth. I'm a winner. Show me my victory. Who else wants some? Want a piece of me, boy? Hmm. Let's try that again. Want a piece of me, boy? Pretty. All right. Now we'll move on to your shield system. All right. Disaster. Your ship is equipped with the new shielding technology. It is able to absorb a large amount of incoming weapon energy. Neat. I can also tell that my target is shielded based on the... As the shield absorbs the... damage, it becomes weaker. However, it automatically regenerates itself over time. Based on the padding around the 100 that's there in the middle. Your shield integrity gauge is located at the lower right of your HUD. It is flashing now. Integrity. It is most noble. And not treacherous. Your shield is divided into four quadrants, each able to withstand a certain amount of damage. Spiffy. All right. When a quadrant of your shield suffers damage, the corresponding section of your shield integrity gauge will flash. Uh oh. Observe. I don't like where this is going. I don't want to observe. Note the front of your shield is flashing as if you've taken damage. Sure. Yeah, it is now. Note how the gauge changes as your shield takes more damage. When a shield quadrant has been destroyed, all damage will pass through to the underlying hull. This is the space version of Driver's Ed. He can take over my ship at any time. This is terrible. Note that your shield automatically recharges over time. I will accelerate this process to save time. Dude, if you, if, if you can put those accelerants on all of our ships, I think we'd stand a much better chance. Now observe as the front quadrant of your shield repairs itself to full strength. Maybe we're actually just in a training program instead of actually out in outer space, right? Yeah, that's the accelerated version, folks. Now your shield has recharged back to full strength. Next, we'll cover shield management. This is a simulation game. Welcome to Free Space Tycoon. There are a number of ways you can manage your shield. The simplest is the equalize quadrants function. Yeah. I have damaged your front shield quadrant again. Now use your equalize quadrants function to repair your front quadrant. I did not leave that def- no, okay. I did leave a default. I was just pressing uh, numpad well 8 done. instead of button Note 8. Note your front <laughs> section has been largely recharged. This came at the expense of shield energy from the three other quadrants. Damn expenses. I'm going to reduce most of your shield strength. Note that three of your four quadrants are now near zero strength. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Every 
Everything looks hunky dory to me. Now you'll learn how to maximize uh -oh. shield strength in a specific quadrant. Shit, I hate learning. First, you'll maximize the shield strength in your front quadrant. Done. Well done. Note that your front quadrant is at full strength while the others were drained. Okay. Noted. I continue. Maximizing your front shield quadrant is especially useful when you're attacking a large ship against its turret fire. Like if you're charging, you know, a capital ship to shoot at its subsystems or whatever you're going to do now with I it. Now I want you to maximize your rear shield quadrant. If, say, someone's on if your ass. If you're pursuing an important objective and are being attacked from the rear, maximizing your rear shield quadrant can be very useful. And you can also try to emphasize them both at the same time while flying a ship and shooting. It'll totally work. Well done, pilot. Aspect-seeking missiles are an important part of your arsenal. Use them well. Uh, thanks. I thought you were gonna and make it. Proper a... shield management can make all the difference in a crucial battle. Yay! I think we have another training one after this too. This concludes your training. Return to base. Guess we'll find out. I guess I'll return to base now. I was waiting for the directive to appear over there on the left side, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Congratulations, you have completed your training. Awesome, I got my wings. Again. <laughs> yeah, padding those stats. We, uh... That was a regrettable miss, but I uh, will get over it. We got some kills. We're so good. To bro. Anyway, I'm gonna break this video here. You have completed your training. Even though there might be more training, I don't. I don't know. I just want to make sure that everything recorded properly. God forbid this get left out of the sands of time. <laughs>